So this is gonna be a quick video about cleaning the Roomba. Uh, the model I'll use will be the 880, but what we're gonna run through basically holds true for any Roomba. So uh, first off, here's the bot. Uh, what you can do when you wanna clean it is flip it over. The, uh, the robot is designed to clean your house or apartment, but in doing that, it gets pretty dirty. And there's basically three areas that you really wanna focus on. You have the throbbers here, that's just the things that spin to collect. This beater here, or uh, this rotating brush, whatever it's called, and then the wheels. So you have three wheels, and each of them collects a fair bit of junk. Uh, that also can get better or worse depending on how you use it and if you have a cat if you have a someone with long hair living in your apartment and uh those are the main three factors plus how much you use it of course so the uh first thing you want to do is to see how bad the wheels are and if you're going to have to remove the wheels this top wheel it pops off all you need to do is apply a little sideways pressure to it it can be hard, uh, but sometimes you wanna get a little screwdriver or something in there and just pop it out. You're just gonna have to be really careful that you do not damage the wheel itself. Comes right out. And basically any sort of side areas is what you have to be concerned with. But hair wraps around these things as they're rotating. And then when you're done, you just pop it back in and it snaps really nicely. The next area we'll look at is the side brush. Again, it collects, long hair tends to wrap around it. This one, if it's really bad, you can unscrew, but uh, you probably don't have to. The most useful tool when you're cleaning off the bottom of the Roomba is a screwdriver. Which the, really the majority of the problem will be long hair that has wrapped around the different elements. And we'll just do a partial cleaning here on the video so you can get an idea. And the thing is that as you clean it less and less and more hair or whatever wraps around, uh, these, the wheel and the brush here, they will stop over time. So uh, it's easy to do a little bit of cleaning now and then than have to do a lot of cleaning when your bot stops working. As for the main throbber area, it's gonna depend on your model, but if you have something newer like the 880, you're gonna push in these two yellow tabs, pick this up, and then these come right out. And you wanna really make sure that you get any sort of hair off of the end areas because eventually these will stop turning when they get real clogged up. and everything should come right out. So uh, you really don't need to force anything. And again, best thing to do with this is just get a pair of scissors, cut everything off, and then uh, give everything a wipe down. If you have another vacuum, you could give this thing a vacuum. But uh, again, if the Roomba is your vacuum, you may not have something lying around. We'll reassemble it off video, but you can get an idea. And then uh, lastly, you're gonna wanna take, remove the bin, and clean out the bin. Obviously, this is something you're gonna have to be doing all the time, but you do wanna make sure you get to the simple stuff, which your bin is probably overloaded if your pot is dirty. Uh, when you're doing your occasional cleaning, it's probably a good idea to check out the filter and see if your filter needs to be replaced. Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't, but that's definitely an important part of the cleaning. So yeah, that's how you clean your Roomba 880 or any Roomba for that matter.